Okay, hold on, hold on. Can we take this in for a second? The husband's sleeping in a double bed by himself. Chad's in the room. The kid's sleeping on the couch, and the wife is passed out in the bathroom. <laughs> this, this is the weirdest family I've ever seen. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into a Maxis classic known as The Sims. So we have played some Sim City, where we have simulated being a mayor. We've played some ants, where we have simulated being an ant. Or actually, we haven't played it on this channel, but we've played it before in in life. Um, Sim Earth, you get to simulate uh, being an Earth, I guess, and now we get to simulate what it's like to be a person. Boy, what a weird adventure this will be. Pretending to be a human. Um, so you can see you can get in crazy fights or tell comedic jokes. You can push... Well, what the heck? You can push women and get in fights? What is this game? This is like a spousal abuse 101. You can get a pool and a pool table. You can all watch TV. So finally a game that simulates watching TV and getting out of a hot tub nude apparently. It was all pixelated there. The house just keeps expanding. I don't know about you guys, but my house has never expanded like this. You can juggle! You can dazzle your friends with juggling and make out in front of the fire with some smooth jazz and saxophone. Or you can also make out on a patio. You can make out wherever you want. It's the friggin' Sims, man. The Sims is also known as Sim People in Japan because I guess, you know, Sim Earth, Sim Ants, Sim City. You know, J the Japanese were expecting Sim something. So just the Sims was like oddly confusing. Anyway, here is The Sims, so um, I've sort of been mocking it a little bit. It is it is an awesome uh, sort of human simulator, and you can go ahead and take control of like an existing family. Let's just pop in real quick, and uh, no, we don't need the help activated. So, uh, oops, we'll just zoom in a bit and uh, scroll around. Here's The Sims. This is a wealthy family. They have a kid, a husband, and a wife wearing a cocktail dress. And basically, in this game, you can just sort of simulate uh, daily business. You're kind of like an omnipotent god, and you're, you're kind of like a, a crazy messed up god, actually. So the Sims themselves do have some free will. They will sort of uh, do things. Oh, look, we can go and tickle her if we want. Um, what is he doing? He's painting? Wait, wall's up. Uh, carpool will arrive, the bus. Wait, where's the second story? Okay, he's upstairs. He was painting in the child's room. Um, this is, I don't know what's going on with this father, but uh, we're going to go and tickle our wife here because uh, that's how we do. So the Sims will kind of do things if you just leave them alone. Like the kid is like, uh, you know, she's like playing in her toy box. Uh, we missed the tickling. Okay, hold on. Let's do this again. Um, how about dance? Let's get it. Let's get some dancing on before work, honey. You can just go ahead. She's like, would you like to dance? And she's like, oh, me. And then they go into like some weird... <laughs> Some weird dance routine. The kid's just like, my parents are dorks. Even though this kid totally looks like a dork. Um, this kid totally looks like a dork. Her her parents are even bigger dorks. It's like Gomez from the Adam family with like uh, that pencil mustache. Or he's like a French, you know, cat burglar or something like that. Um, anyway, we're going to be building our own, uh, our own house and creating our own sims. I just wanted to kind of show you guys... Um, sort of what this game was like. So you're like some kind of messed up god where you like have control over these people and these people will not go to work or have uh, jobs or anything like that unless you make them. But they will do things like read books and, and go to the bathroom and other sort of like minor things. I just noticed, by the way, oh, he's going to work. What kind of job does he have? It's like a really crap. He, he's getting in like the world's crappiest car. He looks like a scientist. I guess uh, on the scientist's salary... You can't, this is like a car from Fallout. He's like traveling to the world of Fallout to work on uh, water chip technology. Um, but I just noticed, you know, this family, their backyard is literally a graveyard. That's that's messed up. Uh, what does the wife do now? So hold on. How do we select Sims here? There we go. We got her. Come downstairs. Your God commands it. And then she's like, oh, I have this strange, compelling issue to come downstairs and eat the fish. Oh, you can only feed or watch them. You can't actually eat them. Uh, can we study mechanical, study cooking, or just read a book? You can sit or nap. You can... There are no actions available on the bed. What do you mean? It's it's called sleeping. You should try it. It's great. 
We'll make her go take a bath. Forget about feeding the fish. They're well fed. Go and bathe yourself now that your family has left. The urge to bathe compels you. Um, Zim tier, by the way, had tons and tons of add-ons. Uh, but we're actually playing, like, The Sims Raw. Like, this is, you know, no add-ons, nothing. Um, I think, you know what, one day when we try Sims 2, we'll, we'll, we'll do the opposite. We'll do, like, all the add-ons. But this is just, like, the basic Sims. This is the Sims that I first experienced back in the day. And, of course, they pixelated to keep things nice and PG. But, uh... Um, I remember there were, like, patches that could take away the pixel pixelizations, and you'd be like, ooh, like, Barbie boobs, because, like, The Sims, basically, they, they didn't, uh, you know, they didn't uh, go in and create art for, like, The Sims being nude, so they just look like Barbies, but, like, you know, it was like a 13-year-old boy, you'd be like, yes, nudity! So, yeah, there's some very mild, mild nudity you could get in The Sims if you were willing to hack your game, but, uh, anyway... All right, we've seen enough of this family. The what were they? The Goth family. What a what a bizarre starting family. Like <laughs> they live by a graveyard. The kid's a nerd. The dad is like Gomez from the Adam family. I don't know what's going on with the wife here, but she's like permanently in a cocktail dress. So I'm just trying to like play with the mouse controls a bit. All right, enough of this family. Let's go find a real family to play with. All right, so we're gonna start a totally new lot. Um, okay. Let's see. We don't want to learn how to play. This lot costs 7000 We want, like, the cheapest property in town. Because we are poor. 10000 Forget that. I think this looks pretty cheap here. Yeah, hold on. It keeps going away. 5000 3000 Done. You must pick a family and move them in first. Oh, so we have to go in and create a family. So there's a bachelor, roomies, and... Oh, I thought they said the peasants. The pleasants! Now, we're going to go ahead and create a new family. And these will be called, these will be called the dudes. It'll be a nice manly family of dudes. We'll add a few, a few women into it, but it'll be called the dudes. Um, there we go. All right. So, oh my God, this is not a dude. What are you, are you kidding me? Is this a joke? Um, first of all, how do, how do we change his face? Oh my God. How do we change his face? We can only change his, uh, oh my God. Look at these bodies. Like that's, that's a dude right there. <laughs> He's wearing buttless chaps. Although he's got jeans on underneath. Um, okay. That, that is like, that is like father dude right there. Um, I don't think we want to go that manly. I think that's too manly. Oh my god, you can be a slob too. Um, oh god, this is like, uh, this is like a drug cartel narco type figure. Okay, what, what, we just want like a normal dude. Okay, let's, why is there so many guys with glasses? I want a dude who doesn't look like a bit of a douche. Like I want just like a guy who looks kind of normal. I guess this is normal-ish. He kind of looks like a bit of a jerk. He looks like a country club jerk, but sure. And we can like change his skin if we want. I don't know. Oh, it, it reset his head. Where where does head go? Um. Okay, no glasses. Okay, whatever. That that's good enough. And we will call this uh Michael Dude. Michael's a nice, plain name. Michael Dude is not very nice, but he is, he does have a playful side, and he's a little outgoing. He's semi-active, and he's only a little neat. Ah, oh, we'll make him a little nice, why not? But we'll make him very, he's a big kid, he's a big old teddy bear at heart. Michael Dude, Michael Dudes. Oh, right, I, I thought it was the dude. It's the dudes? I called them the dudes, okay, whatever. Bio for Michael Dude, born a dude, he's gonna die a dude, dude. <laughs> All right, so there, we have our, we have Papa Dude, it's Michael Dude. Let's create a wife for Michael Dude. Let's go with, oh God, a granny in torn up pants. Like what, what a terrible default. All right, so this is not gonna do. So let's see. We need like a motherly dude. Could just be like a normal. Hmm. Oh god, look at these beehive dudes. That's like that's like like oddly out of place. Like that's that's 50 years ago. Oh god, that is not an attractive woman right there. Okay. Uh oh, I feel like that could work. All right, that's like a dude a dude wife ish. No, oh, she's all business, this dude. 
Uh, business phone. What do we got? We got like cocktail dresses. Exercise. Just a mom bod. Mom bod in uh, belly tee. Um, oh, no. Wait, that's a mom bod. Oh, you got biker bods, too. Interesting. Interesting. This is like a teenager. That is just inappropriate. Let's go with... Huh. Let's go with business. You know what? She's going to be a working woman. She's And she's... Uh... She's, she's the nice one in the family. Um, she's not very neat, though. Uh, not a little playful, but she's very active and very outgoing. And we'll call this Lisa Dude. The Dudes. Mama Dude. Uh, she loves the cowabunga lifestyle. Um, dudes forever. Boom! That's her... <laughs> <laughs> that's her uh, little bio there. She loves the cowboy. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay, now we need to create some kids. Uh, so, okay, how about this? They have like two kids that are like, or just one kid who's like really a dude, and then like one kid who's like a nerd, and he gets picked on at school. Here, so let's make, let's go with a female, female dude. Um, sure. I don't know. Actually, let's just have one kid. Forget it. I don't know. Uh, her name is Tina. Tina Dude. Sure. She's the neatest one in the house. She's a pretty neat kid, if you know what I mean. Not very playful. She's not nice, but she's very outgoing and somewhat active. Um, she has no friends, but that's how it goes, dude. <laughs> All right, there we go. We have We have a family, the Dude's. We're just, the last name is Dude, so they're the dudes. There we go, we fixed that. Are you finished creating? Um, actually, no. We're gonna have one more dude in here. This is, um, we're gonna just have like one random guy who happens to live with them, and his name will be Chad. He's not a dude. His last name is Chad Stevenston, but uh, let's just add that in. His real name is Chad Stevenston. Um, and for and for some reason, he happens to live with the dudes. It's nothing sexual. There we go. All right. So we're just being very, very clear. But uh, Chad Stevenson here, he just happens to live with the dudes. He's somewhat neat. He bonds with the child. He's somewhat nice. He's playful. And he's... Uh, not very active. Let's just say he's outgoing. In fact, let's make him less playful and more outgoing. There we go. Chad Stevenston. He's just he's just some guy who happens to like live in the house. There we go. Okay, we've made our family the dudes. Let's move this family into a new building. And they're going to buy this empty lot here because the dudes have big plans. Uh, no, I don't need help. So, um, a school bus will, will arrive an hour. Hold on. We don't even have a house yet. We're literally just living in a field. Oh my god, did they use Comic Sans as the font here? If they didn't use Comic Sans, they used something that looks an awful lot like Comic Sans, and that is, you're never supposed to do that, even I know that. Okay, so, here's the thing with The Sims, you get to uh, build a house. So let's start, I guess we'll start with the kitchen, because I've already started to draw these tiles. So let's go here, build mode... Uh, so you can go in, you can like pick fridges and stuff. So there's like a cheap fridge and a pricey fridge and there's a really cheap fridge. We're gonna go with the cheapest of everything to get going here. And I'm just, I'm gonna take a minute to sort of start to draft this house out. And I'm gonna fast forward a little bit so you guys don't have to watch every, every small detail as I get this going here. All right, so the kitchen is slowly coming along. I think we made it a little too big. So, there we go. It is, uh, there's no doors, though. How do we insert a door? Okay, so we want an outside door here. Oh, you know what would be nice in a kitchen is windows. So, yeah, you can actually see outside. See what's going on. All right, we'll do one there. There. Whole little facade of windows. This house has a lot of windows. I don't know if that's a normal amount of windows, but it's what we got. You can also like go in and like wallpaper the walls. You can color things like a certain color. So here, like for instance, we can go ahead and paint the kitchen. I don't think the painting the walls really does all that much. Um, it looks like the kitchen is fully painted, but if we rotate the view, 
We can see there are some walls here that are not painted. What I used to do when I played this game is I would just paint the walls I could see and not worry about the others. So it's like this wall would just like never be painted. I will paint that one, spend 20 bones on it, just for fun. So that wall's unpainted, but like, you honestly can't even really notice it. I guess I'll paint it just because I feel like it's incomplete if I don't, but there we go, boom. We have successfully made a kitchen. These people have a place to eat. Um, it's kind of a big kitchen, actually. I didn't mean to make it that big. So we're going to have to skimp on the rest of the house here. Uh, what are these things? Oh, peach carpet. So this house is going to be based on the popular French uh, peach design. And we'll just peach carpet the rest of the house, basically. Uh, maybe we should make the rooms first and then worry about carpeting it after. So we need like a nice big living space to entertain all of our guests. Might not even be big enough. Uh, we might not have enough money to carpet the house, so it might just have to be... Uh, people might have to visit us and just hang out on the grass, but that's okay. So uh, there's nothing nothing hillbilly about that. Okay, so there that'll be like the living area, and then we'll just put a couple of bedrooms. We'll put like one giant bedroom back here. Um, now, you can see we only have so much money. We're really digging into the family's life savings to do this. Um, if you do run out of money, you have to work to earn more money. So this game is kind of like... Um, it's kind of like Jones in the Fast Lane. Do you guys remember Jones? I played it on my channel a long time ago. It's an old Sierra game. It's a great game where basically you um, you have a job and you just sort of have to um, earn money. That's, that's the front foyer right there. You just have to sort of uh, earn money, get an education, um, work your way up from sort of nothing to like, you know, be a somebody. And well, look at all the light that we're adding to this room. We're really good with placing windows. And yeah, this game is kind of like that. So this is basically like a life simulator. Like you just sort of go around in The Sims and you just try and have a life. And there's really no end game to this game. I mean, I think you can uh, end the game by dying. That's one of the things you can kill your Sims and everyone you know, here's a hint, Here, here's a little uh, secret. Everyone kills their Sims in this game. Eventually you get bored enough that you're like, I'm just gonna kill a bunch of Sims and see what happens. So you can like build a closet and leave them locked in the closet. You know, we'll kill some Sims at the very end of this game. Um, oh shoot, did I spend $3,000 on a bed? I meant to buy the cheapest one. Um, uh, no, I want it rotated like that. There we go. And we'll just grab it. And Okay, hold on, grab it. There we go. Um, so you can kill your Sims, you can lock them in a room, you can, what else can you do? You can build a pool and have them swim in it and then sell the ladder. That's always a fun way to kill them. Um, what else can you do? Hey, wait, that bed's only 450. Hold on, hold, hold, hold the phones here. Okay, we're going for the cheapest furniture we can get. This is all Ikea brand furniture. Um, I think you can also get into fights with other sims. I think you can burn your house down if somebody's bad at cooking and they try and cook. Uh, okay, here's a bed. All right, we're only gonna have three beds and we'll see how the sims decide to sort this out. It'd be kind of interesting to see. Um, then we need a sofa. Uh, sure, like that. This is like really crappy basement furniture. Uh, we need, everyone needs a TV, of course. Oh look, you can get like a CRT TV. That is so old to go. Oh my god, this is their TV. <laughs> An $85 TV. But they do have a pinball machine. How about that? We're, we, we're, we'll give them a pinball machine. This is like a totally random house. Um, what is this? VR? Virtual reality! Oh my god! Holy crap. They Wait. These are the t This is the TV technology the world's in, but they have Oculus Rifts? It's unbelievable. Hey, a little train set? That's cool. You can have like a really old stereo. Why not? Um, should we give them a computer? Whoa, look at this gaming computer. Meet Macro. Forget about the computer. Um, other appliances, what else do they need? We can give them decorations and stuff, but I feel like that's just too luxurious for us right now. Um, tables, they don't need plumbing. Oh, they need a bathroom. Okay, we have $3,000 left. We better build them a bathroom. And I guess let's give them a couple lights. So we're gonna go with the El Cheapo lamps. We will give them a couple lights. I think they the Sims work better when, oops, I put that light outside. 
Uh, the Sims work better when they like have they have light around them. So we'll we'll indulge. We'll indulge just a little. Okay, look there we go. Look at all the light we've we've granted you. Um, what else do we have here? Ooh, uh, there's a uh, chess set you can build, and they'll play chess. I liked having this around. Um, so these these are like things. Okay, the chess set. Sims can play this and develop their intellect. Same with books. This they can develop their physical bodies. Same with uh, this, and it can be a group activity. So your Sims, you not only have to get them jobs and stuff, and like build their house and earn money, but you can actually develop them, and they can get like promotions at work and stuff. If you, uh, oh my God, look at this thing, twelve hundred bucks. Or a pool table. We can't even afford the pool table. Wait, is this a bar? Is this a bar? Hold on. Is this a bar? Okay, it's not. It's not showing the info. Is oh, oh my God, it's a bar. <laughs> this is this is an essential. This is an essential. We're uh, we're gonna put this bar. Where are we gonna put it? Um, we'll put it right here in the living room. Okay. That cost a thousand bucks, but we have a bar. We've got priorities, people. All right, now I guess we should build some plumbing. So uh, Sims got to be able to use the toilet. Sims got to be able to wash their hands. We'll also put a mirror on this wall here. Um, Sims got to be able to have a shower. Let's let's double this up. So actually, let's move this. Okay, so let's like set up two showers because we got a lot of people in this house, and I think that's good. Oh, we need a sink over here. Boom. Oh god, we don't have enough money for walls. Uh-oh, this is embarrassing. Um, oh my god, we we don't have enough money to build... Okay, so the bathroom's just in the middle of nowhere. How about that? And we don't even have a door. We can't even afford a door. Uh-oh, okay, we gotta sell something. You know what? We're gonna sell the pinball machine. That's 1800 bucks. So Sim's gotta be able to use the washroom. I'm sorry, but uh, we, we, we need... It turns out Stupid me, but we, it turns out we have bigger priorities than, uh... Okay, hold on. Grab. No, I don't... I, <laughs> damn it! <laughs> okay, hold on. You go there for a sec. I want to I erase this window. How do I do that? Hmm. Okay, well, whatever. We have a door. We have, uh... We have a couple shower stalls. We even have floor, I think. Let's find uh let's find a nice uh bathroom tile. Uh sure. I think this is an outdoor tile, but whatever. And I guess we'll throw a window or two up. Boom boom. And we'll throw in one light, and I guess we're done. There's a window hiding behind this uh this uh shower thing, and I can't get it to go away, so we might The Sims might be living with a window looking into their shower. It's uh it's how it goes. Wait, what was I looking for? Electronics. Uh, lights. Yeah, see this one window right here? I, like, can't grab it. What am I supposed to do? There must be a way to get rid of it. Wait, how do you bulldoze walls? Maybe that's a thing I could do. Terrain tool. Hmm. Okay, well, whatever, the window's there. See, and you could put wallpaper on, on all your, your buildings if you wanted, but uh, we're not going to bother. So here's our beautiful house. We have two front doors, one into the kitchen, one into the living room. We have a bar, a tiny TV, and here's our family, the dudes. Uh, let's go ahead and unleash them. Go ahead and click play, normal speed. Not, you guys don't want to do anything? What's happening? Norm fast forward. Unpause. Oh, here we go. All right, we're gonna go ahead and click play and watch the Sims do their thing. So off they go. Let's turn the walls off permanently so we can uh, watch them enjoy their new house. Chad Stevenson is hanging around outside and so is the wife here. Uh, what's her name? Lisa Dude. So she's gonna come over here. Kids in the bathroom. Oh, we forgot to put a mirror. We forgot to put a mirror. Hold on, let's, let's totally give the Sims a mirror. Uh, I'm not a cruel monster. Uh, where would the mirror be? Ah, here it is. A $100 mirror just for you, sweetie. Enjoy. Enjoy. All right, off off to the live, the live show. So this guy's thinking about using the microwave. And so the Sims just do stuff. Lisa's fixing herself a drink. Oh, no, she doesn't like alcohol. Uh, have a drink. Go ahead. She's like, oh, well, if you insist. 
<laughs> we'll get her drunk. It's uh, the middle of the morning. That's okay. So Sims have these different meters here. Hunger, comfort, hygiene, bladder, energy, fun, social. So you want to try and keep all these meters up. They have to talk to each other. They have to go to the washroom. They have to clean themselves. They have to have fun and stuff like that. Um, again, they have jobs and stuff. In fact, Chad, Chad here is going to go and uh, read. Oh, he's going to find a job. And so is this guy. In fact, we should all find jobs. Oh, she's having a little party by herself. She's like, actually, booze makes life fun. Look, her fun meter has gone up. Fun, let's see what it says here. Fun is different for everyone. But serious Sims may be more interested in reading a book. Playful Sims are likely to enjoy some pinball. Uh, the only job offer in today's paper is the entertainment career for a waiter waitress. Hours 9 to 3 pays $100 a day. Um, yeah. All right. He got a job. Um, let's go tickle Chad, because why not? Meanwhile, she is going to... Let's see. Have a drunk nap. <laughs> Because why not? Oh, God, that looks so awkward. Remember his bio, though, guys. Nothing sexual. It's, uh... He just happens to live there in the house with them. It's, it's nothing It's nothing weird. Trust me. All right, he's going to go and find a job as well. Um, she's just watching TV. So this is it. This is it. There's um, there's no real end game to this. You know, besides uh, getting, getting money and, uh, you know, I don't know like finding chicks or whatever, you know, like, I mean, I guess if you're a chick, like finding a dude, finding a dude, Chad dude, Lisa dude, or Michael dude, everyone's going to become a waiter. We're all going to work at the same restaurant. And Lisa dude is also going to work because she is a businesswoman. Find a job. I think she's trying to use the washroom, but um, we're going to send her to get a job. I like how they're watching this tiny TV in the corner of the room. It's pretty hilarious. Um, I think you can get robbed in this game. Speaking of, like, end game, like, you can die and you can also get robbed. So that's something that can happen. Your house can go bankrupt. I mean, we only have $500 to our name. So our Sims are pretty poor right now. Everyone's taking this job. So if we had gone ahead and gotten, like, a library and sort of slowly developed these Sims, like, intellects and things like that, um, you could find better jobs. Here's their happy meter their mood rating, their personality. Hey, oh, there's like a neighborhood kid. Oh, look, there's uh, there's Mr. Goth. Oh, and Mrs. Goth. Yo. Okay, here's our new mission. We're going to try and steal Mrs. Goth. We're going to try and seduce her. Uh, Michael is married to Lisa, but uh, he's got aspirations, we'll just say. He walks right by the, the mister, and he's like, Hello, who are you? You are truly beautiful. We'll have a conversation in uh, Simlish. Which is, uh, this, you know how the Sims kind of like mumble? They're like, oh, so, 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 so. Um, so we'll joke with her. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to joke. We're going to talk. We're going to joke. We're going to talk. And we're going to joke. And we're going to end with a tickle. That's, uh, those are the moves, man. That's, that's, uh, Michael Dude's moves. Oh, his wife's come over, too. Chad's here. It's a whole little party. Uh-oh, things are going downhill. Downhill fast. We're getting negative marks with her. It's okay, the tickle will bring us back. Um, now, development for this game, as we watch this little conversation here, took nine years, if you can believe it. The original conception for this game came about right after Sim Ant. Oh, look, they're, they're talking about finances, figuring out what they have in common. Um, Will Wright here had originally developed a concept for this game in 1991. And he took it to a focus group, and they did not like it. So uh, he was allowed to continue developing it. You know, credit to Maxis and EA. They allowed him to continue to work on it. But uh, it took him nine years to get it made. This game came out in 2000. Um, you know what I'm going to do here, by the way? I'm just going to go in and adjust the music. I feel like the music in this game sounds like elevator music like it's just i'm really not interested in it all that much we'll have a little bit of music on but it's kind of like i want to hear these guys mumble more there we go yeah now we can hear the mumbling actually we'll turn the music up just a, a tad um but yeah anyway yeah focus group didn't like it when this game came out though it became the best-selling pc game in history by selling 11.3 million units which is more than the, you know, before that, the record was held by Myst, I believe. And uh, this game, like, dominated. So, fr from a game that, like, no one wanted to develop, that took nine years to develop, that focus groups didn't like, 
like the best-selling game of all time PC game like that's that's crazy um, This game also had a ton and ton of expansions and as I said we're playing this one raw We have no expansions on at the moment And as I say when we do sims 2 maybe we'll do the opposite um, I can't tell I think they are not getting along I'm pretty oh look she's refusing the tickle Oh, the finishing move did not work. Uh oh and now he just wants to talk to us. All right, so Michael, dude, has no chance with uh, Mrs. Goth. Oh, look, there's a dance party going on over here. Um, okay, here, let's compliment, talk, compliment, talk. Is she not interested? She doesn't like the compliments. Give a back rub. No, come back. <laughs> oh, look, he's just making food. I feel like we are weird. The dude family is totally bombing with the neighbors. It's getting weird. We're trying to tickle them, give them back rubs. Like, um, we're very clearly, very clearly um, got some problems. Oh, look, we're at negative seven. Um, so I guess we gotta like talk to her a lot more. So talk, talk. Hold on. Let's take these compliments out. So this is a cue where you can like cue up things to do, and you can't cue the same action more than once. So my strategy was to alternate actions and then delete the ones we don't want. Turn on. Wait, what did I click on? I didn't turn on her, did I? <laughs> okay, so we have to go compliment, talk. Okay, so slowly, Bella Goth, an elegant, athletic, what? There are two qualities that describe Bella. Interesting, so slowly, slowly we are getting this meter up. Stop trying to, oh, we're trying to turn on the lamp, that's what it is. Okay, we're gonna keep this going for a while. She's just gonna talk into the to all day. Okay, we're up to five points. When we get to 20, we'll, we'll start throwing in the compliments and we'll slowly work in. We'll just slide a back rub right in there when no one's paying attention. And Chad's totally oblivious to what's going on. He, what? He left his food on the floor. Chad, dude, you gotta clean up after yourself. That That's like totally unacceptable, man. Anyway, we're up to 11. Um, whoa, so what were the expansions? In this game, oh, these guys are getting along too, actually. Whoa, look! Okay, hold on, let's try and tickle this dude. Are you, are you up for a tickle? A little tick? A little tickle? You good for a tickle? Oh, he did, oh, he kind of likes it! <laughs> He's like, I don't know what that was, but I ain't saying no. Alright, so the, so we're slowly working, okay, look at this. This is totally gonna work. We're gonna compliment her talk here's our here's our here's the game of lisa lisa dude compliment talk compliment and then the back rub okay hold on and then the back rub okay there we go meanwhile <laughs> look he's having a little dance party to himself oh this guy's going to the bathroom in our house just make yourself at home dude all right, we'll, let, we'll leave these guys to enjoy themselves as we uh, continue to chat here, but um, yeah, there were tons of expansions. So let's see, there was like an expansion that added ma uh, mansions. There was one, one that added like a downtown, and oh my god, they're dancing! He's like, may I have this dance? And he's like, oh, charmed. <laughs> this game is so funny. I will say this game does not force you to follow to traditional like uh, gender norms or whatever. Like we can have, if these two ladies get friendly enough, we can totally make them make out. Um, you don't, and same with the dudes, you know, like you can have a guy on girl, girl on girl, guy on guy. It's like, you know, whatever you want, man. You are the, you are the messed up God. You can make people do whatever you please. She's like, for some reason I have a compelling reason. Like I must continue to talk to you and eventually give you a back rub. It's, it's my calling from God. But, um, okay, so there was another expansion created downtowns. There's like a weird old horror movie on here. Created downtowns where you could like go on dates and stuff like that. Um, another expansion allowed you to have house parties. There's one that let you go on vacations. There's even one that introduced magic, which is the weirdest. Oh, he's just dancing with everyone. This is his move. He just hangs around here and waits to dance. <laughs> oh, I never. That's hilarious. Um, so yeah, you could, you could literally like summon spells and charms and all sorts of stuff like that. Like it, it was kind of weird. It was kind of weird, warm. Things are going pretty well. I should have a new friend. Um, he's hungry while he dances, dreaming of hamburgers. Oh, i will give her a compliment. Okay, here comes the back rub is coming, guys. Um, 
But yeah, me magic just seems so out of place. It's like totally Harry Potter, where you can like summon charms and, and there's alchemy and stuff. You have made a new friend. Sweet. Okay, here comes the back rubs. Now we're now we're working for friend with benefits. Um, meanwhile, our daughter has come home and she's gonna find this like really weird pansexual adult party going on in the house and be like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> this is, this is weird. This is a little weird. Okay. Um, well, we can also give her a gift. We can compliment. We can talk, dance, back rub. We're working our way up to the kiss. It's kind of funny you can just like spam these things like I've literally cornered her and like not let her leave um, <laughs> While my whole family just stands here and watches Lisa dudes getting some hey, look somebody made dinner cool <laughs> Talking about a guitar. Oh, here we go compliment Here we go. She likes me um, Yeah so this game is a life simulator. I think this game is known as a strategic life simulation video game, which is like a really complicated way of just saying it's a way to uh, to go ahead and play with dolls. It's basically a doll simulator. Um, we can get up to hugging, back rubs. We're escalating Kino and locking into our target. Um, it's not quite the same as like other life simulators like uh, Second Life or whatever because in Second Life You are actually living as the character that you're playing as but in this it's like again You're kind of like a weird messed up god where you um, You can tell people what to do, but they don't have to listen to you um, What's what's happening here? Oh, we're we going in for the back rub. She gonna allow us to do it. Oh, yeah, she likes it She's like, oh, this isn't so bad, I guess. You have nice soft hands. <laughs> um, all right, so things are going well. We have a hug next. Then we have a compliment and a back rub. Oh, where's she going? Is she going to get food? All right, well, we'll, we'll put a pin in this little quest to seduce the, the neighbor. Um, meanwhile, we can go ahead and fast forward what these people are doing. Um, she wants to watch TV. Interesting. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and fast forward some more. And the neighbors will eventually leave. And then we're just they're just throwing garbage on the floor. People come by, wants to make a friend. We can, so you, the Sims will really go on autopilot. Um, oh, hello. I've come to collect my child since it's well past bedtime. Okay. <laughs> just like dancing in front of the stereo by yourself for hours. That's like psychotic. All right, people are going to bed now. Um, there's only enough beds for three of us. Um, oh, she's... What's happening? She's sleeping on the couch. Oh, no, she's not. Oh, she just passed out of the bathroom. Okay, hold on, hold on. Can we take this in for a second? The husband's sleeping in a double bed by himself. Chad's in the room. The kid's sleeping on the couch. And the wife is passed out in the bathroom. <laughs> this, this is the weirdest family I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Also, everyone snores. Like, this would be a terrible place to sleep. This is hilarious. So she is very unhappy. What's her mood? She's not comfortable. No kidding! She's sleeping on the bathroom floor. Has no energy. Uh, can we can we afford... You know what? Let's go ahead. Uh, let's buy some furniture here. Uh, let's buy somewhere where she can sleep. She doesn't want to sleep with her husband. That's fine. Let's uh, let's give her a bed in the hallway here, and we'll go ahead and wake her up, and she will just come and like find a weird cot in in the hallway. There we go. Go ahead, get into bed, get more comfortable. Why not? All right, the kid, what the heck? The kid just went to the bar. Did you see that? The kid walk. The kid woke up in the morning, went to the bar. This is a hardcore kid. I don't think anyone's taking care of this kid. The husband and wife, for some reason, aren't on speaking terms. I think because the wife's trying to seduce the uh, neighbor's wife. Chad sleeps in the room. Again, it's not sexual. He sleeps in a totally different bed. The The husband... Uh, is, no one's taking care of the kid, and the kid just drinks freely from the bar. And they all sit around and watch their tiny, tiny 7-inch TV. The car for Chad. car for Lisa. All right, everyone's cars are going to be here. Everyone's 
Waking up. Oh my god, Lisa! You gotta get up, man! You totally gotta get up. Wake up. Wake up. So when you tell them to do stuff, it takes them a bit of time. Grab a plate. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Now she doesn't want to get up in the morning. She's like, I hate mornings. She's like, ugh, Mondays. Okay, everyone. Off to work. What are they saying to each other? All right, off to work. Did everyone make it into work? I think they did. All right, everybody's at work. Okay, this house is like prime for robbery. A burg oh, what the heck? There's like water everywhere. Hold on, hold on. What happened to this shower here? There we go. Uh, I was kind of rotated funny. Uh, you have been promoted to extra. Your atmosphere, living, s your atmosphere, living scenery. The pay is pitiful. Huh, I get 150, and I got a $300 bonus. Uh, so he's the only one who got promoted. The kids cleaning the bathroom as the adults turn on the party music. This is like some kind of like party house. You can lose your kids to social services if you um, don't take care of them. And you can also have your kid sent off to military school um, if you, uh, well, let's, let's send her to bed. You can't have your kid sent off to military school if your kid does, uh, does poorly in, uh, in school. All right, so Lisa doesn't want to go to bed. She's hungry. Oh God, there's a fire. Oh my God. Oh, what do we do here? Um, we just wait for the fire department. Oh my God, my house is burning down. No, no. Oh look, one of the dudes is burning. Michael has just died. Michael dude, no, Michael dude. Everybody run away. Don't compliment him. There's a bloody fire. Um, hold on, hold on. Oh, I can't even go into buy mode. Um, what do we do? Oh, I, you know what? I don't even have a phone. Stop, no, get out of that conversation. What are you doing? Run over here. Everyone, run over here. You know what? We don't even have a uh, fire extinguisher to put this fire out. Um, get out of your conversation. Leave the room. Um, no, don't, don't, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Get over here. Run over here. Hurry. Okay, so we've, we've lost the stove. Oh, she just fell asleep. This, ho this house is going horribly. Okay, get over here. They're just standing there going, wah, wah, wah. Um, Okay, the kid passed out. Everyone <laughs> everyone watched the fire till it burned down most of the kitchen then passed out. And we have lost Michael Dude. I think he was the one guy who got a promotion. Oh, and he's just going to eat. Okay, so life proceeds as normal. Um, go ahead and sleep. Go ahead and sleep. So this this family, no, don't make don't make the bed. Go ahead and wake up, and then go ahead and just, you get to sleep in the, the big bed. Oh, she peed herself. Okay, so this this family, oh, what the hell? Chad and the kid are sleeping in the same bed? Okay, this this is so wrong. I don't know what the hell's going on in this family. We are, we are totally not doing well. Everyone, their hygiene is low, half the kitchen is burned down. Um, things are, things are not great. Okay, everyone go to work. Everyone could just go to work. Okay, she's, she's like, forget about work today. She didn't go to school. My God. Now, obviously, if you slowed this game down and micromanaged a bit better, then let, let's, you know what? That's a bummer. Let's get rid of this. Can we sell this? Let's delete the, oh, you can, uh, yeah, there we go. We can have a tombstone for Michael or we can just forget about it. Um, all right. Um, we have a microwave. Forget about the stove because these Sims can't be trusted. But is there like a fire extinguisher? I thought there was. No, is there like a phone? I think, yes. Okay, we need a phone. In case that happens again, we need to be able to call the uh, fire department and we need to be able to put up a fire alarm. There we go. This is what, home security? A burglar alarm, let's protect, nah, let's not protect ourselves. I hope a burglar does come. It'd be fun just to see it with you guys. All right, so I, Really, my only goal at this point is for her to be able to steal the neighbor's wife. So, um, I'm just trying to keep her alive and somewhat happy. Um, waiting until the neighbor kind of shows up again. Um, oh, you know what she can do? She can call the goths. She can call Bella. Sweet. She can be like, hey, why don't you come on over for some more hot back rubs? Michael just died. Uh, Chad was working all day. 
Uh, I'll be over in a minute. Um, I'm having a party here now, but we can all come. Yeah, that's okay. All right, we're gonna have a house party. Okay, so she's gonna turn on the radio. Get this, uh, get this stuff bumping. Boom. Let's go ahead and greet these guys. She wants entertainment. She craves entertainment. Um, oh, hello, hello. All right, so, wait. This does not seem like a party. Hold on. Uh, dance. There we go. We're gonna slowly work up her fun -o meter Her fun meter is on the low side. Talk. Okay, hold on. We can do this, guys. We, we, gotta, we gotta stay focused in this mission here. Zoom in here. Our only mission. Uh, talk. Uh, here we go. After a bit of small talk, the back rub unlocks. Hey, what's going on over there? Oh, look, he's, I think he's mad about the relationship. He's like, what's she doing to my wife? Uh, we will talk, and we're just gonna go back and forth between talks and back rubs for a little bit here. Back rubs and hugs now. This is the end game. I'm like sacrificing literally everything. Like my sim is exhausted. She's like, she's tired. She's like, I, I just, I just want to go to bed, but I'm being forced to give you back rubs and hugs. Ah, oh, no actions available. Okay, fine. All right, let's uh, take care of business here. She needs, she needs comfort. So go ahead and sleep in, sleep in the comfy bed. Man, look at her meter is so low. So low. So yeah, obviously, you know, like what you're supposed to do in this game is like, uh, again, it's like Jones, you get a job, you build up a house. Um, you're not supposed to intentionally kill people. Okay, hold on. I got an idea here. Do we have enough money for this? Maybe we can uh, have one of the Sims die in the night. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, here we go. Let's uh, find Chad over here. Chad's gonna get in when he wakes up. First thing he'll do in the morning, he's gonna get in this pool. I feel like we're literally just running these guys, this whole family into the ground, but that's okay. That's okay. All right, Chad. For, he's dreaming of that pool, man. He's dreaming of that pool. We're gonna get him in the pool. Oh man, look at the mess. All right, there's there's work. He's 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 really he just slept right through work. They're like getting in a fight in the bathroom. Okay, Chad is in the pool. No, 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 Chad, Chad, get back in the pool. Get back in the pool, dude. Oh, he's like running to answer the phone. Hold on, get get in. You've missed work today. You are fired. So you can get fired from your job by missing shifts. All that good stuff. All right, Chad, my boy. Here it is, buddy. I'm gonna be real with you. You're going to die. I'm selling this ladder. <laughs> and now Chad won't be able to get out of the pool. He'll just be like, what? Where, where's the exit? He'll be like, Lisa! Lisa, Tina, somebody help! Oh God, the ladder! Somebody, the ladder's gone! Oh, I can't keep swimming. Buns of steel. He's like building his body points. He's like, help! Somebody help me! I can't get out. And he will just literally swim until he until he dies. The other option, the other option, you know what? Let's do the other option. It's fun to watch him drown, but there's actually a funnier way of doing this. Um where where, where are we here? Let's give him the ladder. Go ahead and give him this ladder back. Um, boom. Go ahead and get out. He's like, oh my god! Thank God! Oh, he's not even- he's not even worried yet. Okay, whatever. He's- he's really building up that body. Okay, what you can do is have him... You can be like, go... No, you can be like, go here. And then you can go into build mode, and you can build a wall around him. Um, hold on, let's... let's sell this. Sell. Uh, so you can like, build a wall. Oh, you can build diagonal walls. I forgot about that. Insufficient funds. Oh god. Okay, if we could have built a wall here, we could have uh we could have killed him. Man, how do you get rid of the floor? I totally forget. The floor and the wall. Oh, you can have fireplaces and stuff too. Anyway, you know what? We could have locked him in a closet. Whatever, Chad, you're getting off light this time. Just go ahead and live your life. Alright, Lisa is slowly working up her her meters. 
Let's give her like a day to herself. A day to sort of relax, have a shower, slowly try and build up her energy and stuff again. A day where she's not sort of mentally forced to just, uh, you know, manipulate the, uh, the neighbor's wife. Why does she keep waking up? Oh, she has to go to the bathroom. All right, so use the bathroom, man. It's not that hard. Okay, now go to bed. There we go. Boom. All right, everyone is sleeping. I, it's weird how Chad and the kids sleep together. But whatever. Remember his bio, guys. It's not sexual. He's like a Mr. Belvedere. He's like a skinny Mr. Belvedere. He's literally there just to, like, um, you know, help, help the kids uh, do better at school. Look at all this garbage and trash, too. This has become the gross house. Uh, they're getting in a fight now. The carpool for, for Chad will arrive in an hour. Okay. They're continuing to fight as the wife just sleeps. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on! Oh my god. I, I couldn't stop it in time. They're, they were in a fight for like three hours in the bathroom. They both missed work. Chad, dude. You, you, gotta, you gotta take care of the family, man. He's like, I demand couches so badly. Um, okay. I wonder if the kid could get a job. Can the kid... Can the kid do anything with this newspaper? Read. Uh, what's she doing? She's bragging to her mom. Okay. Remember when there used to be Michael? Remember when Michael's a thing? Okay, Chad just got fired too, so the family is not in, uh, not in a good place right now. Okay, very quickly, before we lose it all, due to my horrendous neglect to bother to manage things, um, all right. We need to see if we can make this thing happen with the wife. Express line for military school. If your grades do not improve, then, uh, then that's it, I guess. All right. All right, here we go. This is our one last shot. Oh, look, she even brought us a gift. It's because she likes us so bad. Look at that. We're at 98. 98% like. Our family is literally falling apart. Husband is dead. Um... Hug, um, entertain, give back rub. We're, go we're going all for the flirting this time around. I think there is actually even a flirt option sometimes. Okay, come on. There we go. Ah, hug. Ooh, look at, I can juggle for her. Hug. Um, how do we do this? Like the kids like crying, <laughs> Chad's crying. This is so depressing. This is, this is like, this is horrible. Uh, <laughs> all right, there we go. Come on. Uh, you've, you're a spring. You should try and decorate accordingly if you want to live most har harmoniously with the house. Um, okay, I guess we can't, I guess we can't actually kiss. I thought you could. I thought I gave you the option. We'll just cycle through a series of, uh, mildly flirtatious actions here. I guess nothing's gonna happen. But, uh... Yeah, I think you have to get like a heart. You have to like earn a heart meter. I think it's through giving gifts. And I think the issue is we don't have any money to give gifts. But uh, anyway, you guys get the idea. You guys get the idea. Um, back rubs and hugs. You guys go play in the yard. Mommy's got to give back rubs and... Uh, they're fighting with each other. Mommy's got to give back rubs and hugs to the, uh, the neighbor's wife. <laughs> oh, man. Fun time. So obviously, 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 with this game, the point is to take it a bit more seriously, to try to actually micromanage, to spend your money, to budget time, send people into work, earn a living. Again, very much like Jones, like to try to work your way up from being poor to like having an awesome house with lots of friends and like just have social adventures. So it's kind of like a structured playing with dolls. I really like the idea of this game. I played a lot of it back in the day. Um, it's kind of it's kind of like an RPG in the sense you got to build up your characters like Chad built up strength and stamina by swimming. I think ultimately The Sims really resonates me with me because it's not a game about shooting or killing or like the t the traditional video game things, but it's really about social interactions and just living, and it's kind of neat in that way. Um, I like any game that tries to like simulate conversations or like social interactions or 
like just creativity like scribble knots is a really cool game like you can type anything and it knows what you're typing that's really neat you know getting away from the sort of mechanics that we've seen before historically like shooting and jumping and killing bad guys they're very simple and going into more sophisticated like simulating a social environment of a town is actually really neat you know and and people have like preferences and opinions and thoughts and dreams and hopes and sims 2 went even farther with this and i haven't played sims 3 or 4 or any of those but i know they get more and more sophisticated so yeah the idea of the sims here is a dynamic dollhouse where you're some kind of weird crazy god who can somehow command them but they kind of have their own free will and you just sort of have to help uh, sort of nudge them towards a happy existence and there's so many aspects you can enjoy you know, if all you care about is like building out your dream house, you can focus on the house and the finances. If you care about, you know, uh, having these guys develop and get like really high stats and getting good jobs and friends, you can focus on that. The Sims, I think, is like a very sort of timeless, fun game. And I actually do think that this is a game that everyone must play before they die. Like, I would put on a must play list. Like, unless you're opposed to the gameplay here, I would say that even Sims 1. Uh, has a lot of fun here and I've said this before too but sometimes I find that with more modern games um, you know like Sims 2 and 3 and 4 they're more complicated but it's almost like they get too complicated and there's something to be said about the simplicity of this one where things are like fairly simple um, certainly you can get the expansions if you want Sims 1 even to be more complicated but there's something nice about a game that sort of has some boundaries um, and I did briefly try Sims 2 with all the expansions a while ago, and there's so much there. But when we do eventually play that one day in the distant future, we're going to have a lot to talk about and look at and explore. Uh, but it's largely Sims 1 here, just with a lot more sophistication, a lot more options. And, uh, yeah. Uh, man, for a second there, I thought they were actually saying something, but uh, I guess not. Uh, okay, so Tina Dude likes me. Chad dude does not. Bella Goth is my best friend. My best back rub friend. friend. Well, anyway, I think besides not seeing a robber, we've pretty much done everything there is to do in this game. Obviously, you know, if we were going to carry on, we would continue to expand our house, maybe build a second floor, and it could be really fun doing that. Um, again... I think this is a great game. I don't know what your guys' thoughts are of this game, but what do you think of The Sims here? Do you agree with me that this is like a really cool, fun game? Do you have your own thoughts? Do you sort of disagree that maybe Sims 1 here isn't worth going back and playing? You know, there's no wrong opinion. Everyone's allowed to have their own opinion. So uh, whatever the case may be, feel free to chime in the comments down below and let me know what you guys think. Um, as always, it has been fun checking this game out, whether we enjoy the game or not. If you agree, don't forget to like the video. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share with all your friends, blah, 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 blah. You guys know the, dr the drill by now. And so until next time, my friends, I hope you guys live a filling and fruitful life. And there's no evil, mischievous god whispering in your ear to do terrible things. Um, or make you just not care about your husband. He literally burned up in the kitchen and nobody seems all that faced. <laughs> that is pretty dark, man. That is pretty dark. Plus our backyard has like a weird half pool and like a half finished room here. Where we were gonna we were gonna enslave Chad and like leave him there to to pee himself and pass out, sleep in his own urine until he died, but we decided to be nice benevolent gods instead for some weird reason and did not do that. But uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm just rambling here, so you guys all take care of yourselves, we'll see you soon. Peace. Do you want to save before quitting? Dear God, no.